Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today I'm going to be sharing something very exciting with you all. If you are someone that likes to budget for your company, if you're someone that likes to keep track of your pro uh, profit margins as far as how much profit you're making off of each sale, this video is going to be really, really great for you. So if you are interested, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. So most of you that watch me, uh, you know that I talk a lot about Shopify and I'm, I'm telling you that Shopify has some really, really good features and updates that have come out. So this video, I'm going to be talking about a recent feature that Shopify has come out with and it's now giving us the ability to track our profit margins, which is huge. Let me just explain something. A lot of times I get people that ask, you know, how much should I sell my bundles for? How much should I uh, price my bundle deals for? And things like that. And ultimately I, I go back to saying it's whatever works best for your business and for you, whatever you're looking to get off of each sale. Now, understanding your profit margins and understanding the profit that you are going to receive off each sale off or off each bundle is going to be really imperative in helping you make sure that you price your products the right way and not only that but also making sure that you price your products in a way that you still leave room for different sales another reason why understanding and knowing your profit margin is going to help because it helps keep a better record of your expenses you know if you are knowing or if you can track or estimate around how much you are planning to receive in profit each month that helps you better budget for different marketing expenses, uh, different advertisements, um, different collaborations that you may want to do, different inventory purchases. So that really helps you. I'm not a huge, huge numbers person, but you still want to make sure that you are looking at some numbers when you are in business to make sure that you stay in business and to make sure that you are continuously receiving income and that the in income is enough to sustain your business. And not only to sustain your business, but actually enough to fund the living and lifestyle that you want. And so working in a business, owning your own business, you know, it's definitely not just a piece of cake. It's not just a walk in the park. There are some things that we do have to do to make sure that we are staying on top of different things as far as our budget and our profit margins. And there are going to be different spikes up and downs in your business. So this is really, really, it's a great feature and I'm really excited that they came out with it. So like currently, if you're using Shopify, um, you have an option where it tells you the amount of gross sales that you make each month. Now what gross sales are, gross sales are what you've made total. So say you sold, um, say you sold two bundle deals for, and they totaled $540. Shopify is going to show that for the month thus far, you made $540. That's not taking into account how much you actually had to spend on your uh, inventory. So it's not really giving you a complete total of, you know, what actually goes into your pocket, what you made for profit, you know? So it's giving you the gross. It's not really giving you the net. And so the profit margin really helps with that. It gives you the option to not only see how much you sold, but how much you're keeping for profit. And those are different things. You know, your gross profit, your net profit, uh, those are completely different. And if you are interested in learning a little bit more about the different profits, uh, leave a comment below and I'm more than happy to go over that with you. But those are different. You know, you want to keep track of the gross sales because that's going to be very uh, important if you are looking at getting different business loans, when you are looking at filing your taxes, uh, when you are doing certain reports, that's important. And the net sales are going to be important as well. So keeping track of your profit margins, keeping track of your gross sales, I mean, all that plays a part of running a successful business. And to be honest, I really don't know of any other e-commerce platform that are, automatically calculates your uh, profit margin into like your dashboard. When I say dashboard, when you log into Shopify, if you are using Shopify, then you know this, but they have like a dashboard that gives you your, you can go to your year-to-date sales, your monthly sales, your daily sales. Uh, you can go to the traffic reports. You can see um, how, where the traffic is coming from. If it's coming from Facebook, Instagram, if it's coming from your YouTube, I mean, where is the majority of traffic is coming from. You can tell um, if you actually have live visitors on your account at this moment. And what I mean by that is if you log into your Shopify account, it'll it'll show like uh, a live view, like five people are actually on your website right now. It shows the different entries that are looking at your website or making purchases. It shows a lot. Um, so if you are considering, you know, which e-commerce site to start your business on, I definitely would recommend Shopify. Uh, there is a link at the bottom of this video if you want to go ahead and click that link so that you can get started with Shopify. Um, you do receive a free trial. I personally recommend going with the basic or the Shopify plan. In my experience, that's what the majority of the people that I work with use and it works great for them. So 
I would definitely read through all the plans and see what one, which one works best for you. But if you're asking my opinion, typically the majority of people that I work with, like I said, fit into the basic or the Shopify plan. And, and again, that video is right at the bottom of this video in the description box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all how to log into your Shopify account and how to make sure that you are calculating your profit margins. Um, now you can calculate your profit margins if you're doing drop shipping. You can calculate those margins if you're doing wholesale, meaning you're purchasing here in bulk. You can calculate those margins if you're selling t-shirts, hair, shoes, whatever you're selling. So what you have to do is you have to figure out how much you're buying the hair for, or how much you're getting the hair for. So with drop shipping, say, I'm just throwing out a number, say um, you're wanting to know the profit margin on 12 inches. And say for drop shipping, the price starts at, let's say $61, just as an example. So if you, you'll put $61 in the section that gives you the profit margin option. And then you also put in the amount that you're charging. So say you're charging $75. The system is going to calculate the margin between the two and give you your profit margin. And so it's really helpful, like I said, when you are really getting involved in your business and when you do want to have exact numbers and you do want to have an overall picture of how your business is, is running, uh, this is very helpful. So what I'm going to do is switch screens. I'm going to go ahead and screen record myself logging into my Shopify account um, from my cell phone and just showing you really quickly how easy it is to calculate your margins and so we'll go ahead and switch screens now all right so the first thing that you want to do is log into your shopify store you want to go ahead and click the first product that we're going to be working with i chose the uh, brazilian body wave 613 bundle deals and just for the sake of the video i'm going to choose the 10 12 14 inch bundle deal so for this what i'm going to want to do is calculate a total so what amount did it cost me to get all three bundles so let's say it cost me $150. I'm selling it for $175. So I have a projected margin of 14.3%. Also, you know, you can play around with the numbers. I put in $125 just as another example. So that's really it. You know, once you do that, you want to go up and click save. Right, so like and always, when I show you demonstrations on Shopify and the platform and, you know, how to get to certain places in Shopify, it's typically very seamless and it's very, it's very easy to do because Shopify, in my opinion, once you get to working with it, it's very seamless and it's very easy to use. When I first started working with Shopify coming from GoDaddy, I was like, oh, okay, no, this is way too complicated. This is, you know, I can manage it, but this just takes too much time. It's, it's just, it's not as easy as, or simple as GoDaddy. Daddy. You know, I would always say that to myself and I even consider, you know, not working with Shopify, but going back to GoDaddy because that was something I was used to and something that was very simple to use. But I do want to stress going with the cheapest product, going with the most simplest product, going with the, um, you know, the, the option that you're just used to doing. Um, it's not always the best, you know, sometimes you have to put yourself outside of your comfort zone. You have to put yourself outside of, you know, this is cheaper than this, or, Hey, I don't, you know, I, mm, I don't really don't feel like putting the work into learning this, but you really have to look at the benefits. You know, what am I going to get if I go to this service versus this service, you know? What am I going to get if I use Shopify over this? And so I stick with Shopify because I love the updates that they're coming out with. I love the different um, tools that they have available. I love the fact that you can track everything in one seamless place. I love the fact that they do offer funding options for different businesses. Um, I love, I just love that the apps that you can add to your page and how you can customize your own website to actually be yours based on the different selections and options that they have available. I love a lot of things about Shopify. So if you want to get, if you want me to get more in depth about everything that Shopify has, um, I can make another video where I put all of that in one video. Um, but if you go back and look at the majority of my videos, I talk about Shopify and I, I at least mention one um, good benefit or feature that I, that I love. And so if you all have any questions about anything that you heard in this video or anything that I showed you when I demonstrated how to calculate your product margins through Shopify, as always, feel free to leave your questions and comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.